right back here. Thank you very much. Uh, Andrea Martin, who has uh, lived virtually at every point of the compass, I was going <laughs> to ask you uh, earlier about, uh, uh, you started out, your background is in drama. From there you went to improvisation, and now you're doing what appears to be tightly scripted television uh, comedy. Do you ever improvise? That's the question I wanted to ask you when you're doing your TV show. Improvise? Yeah, sometimes it's more difficult. Is this a serious question that you really want to know, or is oh, there something? it's not. Something? It's not the most oh. serious <laughs> question. No, it's uh, no. Well, you know, it's real difficult to improvise with cameras and everything because mm -hmm. they have to know the shots. But a lot of times we don't stick real closely, like every word, the script. Have you ever gone script. right down to the deadline and realized you didn't have something and said, "What the heck? Let's go in and play." Uh, you know, yes, if there's only one person on camera and it's just right with a blue psych behind you and the camera's on, yeah, yeah. sometimes, occasionally, but not very often. <laughs> have you found that, I'm that sorry. generally that when you have to do that, does it work okay or not okay? Um, sometimes it works. It used to work more in the past like that, you know, when, uh, when it was uh, in syndicate. I know you're getting to something. No, <laughs> what not, are you doing? I'm not. I'm, I'm think, actually thinking ahead. I have another question. Go actually. ahead. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know if they have these things in Canada, but here in the United States, <laughs> uh, we're in what they refer to as another ratings period, and there's a lot of pressure when you get into one of these periods to, to play to the grandstand, you know, all of the tried right. and true uh, crowd pleasers. But uh, I like to point out from time to time that we here stand for nothing more than solid entertainment. Right. And, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Kind of, our, kind of our creed here. By the way, um, you, you were making fun of your dress, and, and I was telling somebody earlier, you just look terrific. Thank you, David. I, I'm sort of embarrassed, but I feel really great because I've lost um, 50 pounds. 50 pounds? <laughs> That's amazing. Congratulations. 50 and, um, pounds. Can I just do one thing? I know you're not supposed to do this, but my... Um, my aunt and uncle are in the audience, and they came all the way here from Maine. They've been married for 35 wonderful years. 35 and I just years. wish they'd stand up and say uh, hello. There they are. That's amazing. That's great. Uh, I don't know if I should do this. I hate to cut into your time, but it's just a uh, coincidence. My grandfather is in the audience tonight. He's having a birthday. Can you turn a camera around? He's 96 years young today. Stand up, Grandpa. made me think about my baby and he's back in Canada, but I want to just bring somebody out, another little baby that I saw. He's just as cute. Oh. This little guy. Oh. This is Adam. Hi, Tony. This is his mother. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Hi, oh. That's amazing. Thank you very much. so cute. You know, I know, as yet, I don't have uh, any children, but I, I have a dog I'm very fond of. And uh, <laughs> Bob is not here, my dog, but no. if Bob was here... I'm guessing that you folks would have to agree with me that he'd be just as cute as this oh. little guy here, huh? Oh, oh yeah. Isn't he a sweetheart? Oh, Hi, sweetie. Oh, yeah. David, I'm so, I know I'm being a little pushy here, but can I bring out somebody? He's a very, very busy man, and he has to get back to work, but I sure. promised him that he could come on. Can I, sure. Mr. Bob James? Hi. How are you? <laughs> Institute, Bob, what do you have for us? Andrew, I have here a $10,000 check for the <laughs> American Wildlife Federation. Oh. Uh, this is to be used for a new dolphin preserve. It's to be used for the new dolphin, dolphin preserve. preserve yeah. Bob, yeah. you're... Yeah. Pink Tree! Pink Tree, Los Angeles. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. That is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Our next-door neighbor, Bob James. Bravo! Gotta go a long way to help those dolphins. You know, Andrea, there's a man here tonight who may not impress people with his, I'll wait. <laughs> may not impress people with his money, but his story of courage and human endurance is worth all the checks a large and personal corporation can produce. This man, ladies and gentlemen, a former Iranian hostage, he's now training to become an astronaut in the United States space shuttle. Please welcome him, won't you? Uh, we have just a second here. What did you miss most while you were uh, a captive? Well, of course, my family, Dave. <laughs> I also missed watching the Mets, the Yankees, and all the other New York oh, teams. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Speaking of New York, 
I want you to meet a little fellow who I saw wandering around the streets of New York, and I adopted him. You adopted Hello, darling. Him. What do you have for us, honey? He brought ducks for oh. him. for the President of the United States, Mr. Ronald Reagan! Yeah.